Hi, Tom Trento here with another exciting update on the upcoming Israel Security Summit, September 9th, Stoughton, Massachusetts, just a little bit south of Boston. And with us today is our very dear friend and the host for this event, Rabbi John Hausman. Rabbi Hausman, welcome to our show, sir. Good morning. Nice to be with you all. Good, good. Um, we just have a few moments in this, uh, this brief update, but tell us a little bit about how things are developing up there and, and how did you put this thing together with all this firepower? Well, you know, who knows how these ideas end up coming about. I had a, I had a number of people in the congregation who were very excited the last time General Boykin appeared, and for two years people have said, can we get him back? Now, how can you say no? people wanting to have Mr. Delta Force and, and, and Black Hawk Down and former Under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and, a, and an ordained pastor come back and speak here at the synagogue. He was that effective and affective when he appeared. The question is always, if you have this person back for another program, what kind of crowd will you draw? So, okay, so what can we turn this into? Who else can come? And of course, with the help of some very good friends, we were able to put together this power pack lineup with not just uh, Lieutenant General Jerry Boykin, but former United States Air Force Vice Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Tom McInerney, former CIA Station Chief for Afghanistan, Gary Bernson, Lieutenant Colonel Alan West, seems just to seem to be everybody's favorite. He's also spoken here. Uh, in the dead of August, I might add, in, in the dead of August, we had 425 people come out wow. to listen to Alan West last year. Wow. And then, of course, you know, we're, we're happy to have the United West, you and the whole crew come up. Uh, word about this has just gotten out. I'm receiving calls and emails from California. We have people inquiring about this from Toronto, coming down from Montreal, coming up from Florida. And I mean, not just you guys, but... People are popping on planes to come up for this, the actual event itself. This has what we thought would be a nice little local event for the speakers form in memory of my parents has turned into a national event. Wow. I also heard that uh, Elizabeth Sabatich Wolf, the freedom fighter, free speech fighter from Europe, from Austria, is going to be a special guest there too. She's a dear friend, and she contacted me when she heard about this and said, can you give me a few minutes? And I said, glad to host you. Excellent. Now, now from, from what I understand, uh, there's some folks that aren't that quite excited about this that uh, run a uh, Council on American Islamic Relations. What's the update on that? Well, the only thing I can tell you is on August 16th or 17th, uh, CARE posted to their Facebook site, as well as a national tweet regarding uh, this event. Uh, you, you know, don't, don't hold me to the language, but I think that the quote was something along the lines of, uh, well-known Islamophobes will be speaking at an event that's listed as a hate watch list event, uh, and specifically listing General Boykin, Colonel West, and you. Me? You. Oh, to, oh you. my word. You know, um, and, and you, you know, it's interesting. What, what's most interesting about this is you've spoken at the synagogue before without incident. General Boykin has spoken at the, incident, uh, at the synagogue before without incident. And Colonel West has spoken at the incident before without incident. The event is, is entitled an Israel Security Summit, uh, the United States and Israel, the fight to save Western civilization. I don't know what the issue is. I, I guess you guys aren't pro-Israel enough for CARE. That's, that's all I can figure out. That might be it. So from what I understand, you're going to shut the event down because CARE doesn't like it? No, the event is taking place. <laughs> okay. I event thought so. Place. I thought so. What do you hope to, uh, to get out of this? I mean, you're going to have a full house. And, and where do you want the people after this group uh, of uh, committed men and women uh, speak to them? Well, look, when you talk about this august body of people coming together, the issue is always national security and what's in the best interest of the United States in terms of national security domestically and in terms of foreign policy. Um, all four of these people are experts in this. All four of these people have donated, I mean, over a century of lifetime experience in this field. But what we also want people to understand is 
as Israel goes, so goes the future of the United States. The future of Israel, the battles that Israel is has been involved with since its very foundations, happens to be the same battle, the same war that the United States existentially finds itself in as well. And I think what's what's most important about this is we're talking about four panelists and, and you as a co-host, because the United West is one of the co-hosts here, we're talking about five people at Elizabethan, six people, none of whom are Jewish. I think this is highly significant that we will have non-Jews speaking about the importance of Israel and Israel's importance to the future of the United States. All right. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't make that connection that the six of us are are non-Jews and we're standing there, standing with Israel. But that's the critical uh, need right now at this point Absolutely. in Western civilization. We only well, have a, Tom, a minute. I'll tell you something. The six of you don't have the privilege of being Jewish, but you're good friends, and and you you know where you know where to stand in this in this battle. Well, you don't have the privilege of being Italian, Rabbi, so uh, we're even. How about that? Okay. Okay, good point. Hey, And I do um, like pizza, so, you know. Uh, there we go. Uh, uh, we heard some disturbing news uh, just the other day about an uh, act of desecration. Just about have about a minute left. Tell us about that, please. Uh, well, we have a seniors program that meets here on Tuesday morning when the director of the seniors program came in around 8, 30, 9 o'clock. Uh, a terrible smell wafting through the kitchen area. Uh, he went out to our loading dock and found cow manure swabbed over the loading dock door. Uh, and, and I, came, I came in, I called the police to get this, you know, have it reported. They came by, you know, who did it? Who knows? The last people left the synagogue Monday evening, 8, 30, 9 o'clock, somewhere around there. So somewhere between probably 10 and Monday night and 6 a.m. Tuesday morning, this event occurred. Uh, we don't know who did it. We probably never will know who did it. But, you know, in this time, in this era right now, with the recrudescence of anti-Semitism, you can't take anything lightly. Yeah, especially, especially something like that on, uh, on, on a synagogue. Uh, but the show is going to go on, folks, September 9th. Stoughton, Massachusetts. You can go to IsraelSecuritySummit.com. IsraelSecuritySummit.com for all information, for the ability to sign up. Uh, there's uh, several levels of the program. Tell us about that and then leave, uh, leave us with a, a closing uh, challenge, sir. There are, there are several levels to the program. For people who are interested in all facets of the, facets of the program, it begins with a, will begin with a national private national security briefing with the panelists uh that will begin at five o'clock that's at five hundred dollars that gets you into a dinner as well and and the general event if people would like to come and dine with our guests they're more than uh happy to do so that's a 250 dollars level that gets you in to the general event as well and the general event begins at 7 30 uh, tickets can be purchased online, about $36. Tickets for all of those can be purchased online. They just have to go to Israel Security Summit uh, and click on the links. You'll be brought right to the page. Uh, people, Walk-ups will be available, $45 for walk-up for the general events. And what about veterans? Anything for uh, veterans? Veterans, as long as veterans come with their ID, $20 for veterans. And uh, we don't have to address the fact that there will be security if anybody's concerned about those sort of things. There will be security. Local police will be here. We'll have a private security detail here. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. We handle all of our events, no matter who the speaker is, in similar fashion. I right, take 30 seconds and uh, take us out of here with a challenge to come to this event. Well, look, I, I mean, it, it's very simple. If you think about where our country stands today and what has transpired, Look, you want to go back to 2008? Fine. Certainly where the country has stands since January 1st of this year. This event will take place in the shadows of 9-11, two months out from the general election. I can't think of a better group of people to put the United States future and the future of Western civilization in perspective 
at a most critical time when we will eventually head into the voting booths. What Providence could not have planned this any better. And the best reaction to anyone who would like to close this event down is to come. That's all I can say, Tom. All right. Well, on that, uh, on that very important note, uh, Rabbi John Houseman, we thank you very, very much. We'll see you in Stoughton on September 9th, sir. Take care. It, it will be my honor. Thank you.